everyone, it's Shelly with Single Stone Studios, and this is our general application video. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about decals. I get really excited about them, so I thought I would share a little bit more information than I've ever really shared before. And um, as you can see, the decal comes in three sections. This is the backing paper. It's like a wax paper. This is the masking uh, tape that holds all the pieces of the design together, like the little eyes and wings, keeps them all right where they're supposed to be, and then the decal is in the center. The decal is really thin, about the thickness of a piece of paper, so when it's on the wall, it looks painted on. Every one of our decals come with a set of instructions. Step by step, pretty much everything that's on this video comes right in your package when you get it. So there are just a few tools that you're going to need to apply your decal. The first one, and one of the most important, is a damp cloth. You're going to need to wipe the surface of whatever you're applying the decal to. We're going to apply it to a wall today, so I'm going to wipe down the wall. Walls get really dusty, even if you're Martha. So we really need to make sure that we wipe the wall. Even if you do it every other day and you just wipe the pudding off, you need to wipe your walls again. So the next thing, and other really important, is you want your decal level. I prefer a laser level, and I don't know if this will show on camera, but I love it. It's got a line all the way 10 foot down my wall and it keeps everything level all the way down. So if you have a long decal, laser level's the way to go. Um, I also like to trim my decal close. The, the edge paper, or the paper, I like to get it close to the edge of the decal. I leave it about a half an inch. That way you can really visualize right where the image is gonna be when you apply it. So I just trim it up with a regular pair of scissors. Also, to hold the decal to the wall while we're applying it to keep it level, um, we're gonna use a bit of painter's tape. And last but not least is a cake spatula. You need one of these, um, no wimpy cake spatulas. You need it to be rigid. And I got this one for a buck. I just picked it up at the dollar store or something. And it, you can feel that it's a little more rigid and not floppy, and that's really important. That's all you need, so let's get started. We're gonna need three things to put the decal up. The decal, a piece of tape that is just slightly shorter than the top of the decal, the width, and our laser level. So we're just going to put it on the wall, level up, and I like to level directly to the decal, the design, not the paper. And the best point to level on this decal is right at the feet. It creates a nice line. So now that we have it level, I'm just going to turn the level off, put it to the side, and I'm going to put my hinge or tape on the top and create a hinge. You can see it's half on the decal and half off, and it's slightly shorter on the side, so when we lift it, the edges come up perfectly with the decal and we can get the full fold. Next, what you want to do is actually fold it up and we're going to peel off the backing. The backing should be kept close to the wall. I even slide my fingers against the wall so we're not stressing the bond between the decal and the masking tape. Just flip the backing off, toss it to the side, and pull the decal down. I like to hold it in each corner, a little bit taut, touch the corners, and then just smooth it out with my hands. This gets any rid of any big air bubbles. And now we can take our cake spatula, again, making sure it's rigid, and we can start to burnish the decal. Burnishing is just a hard word or a fancy word for pressing firmly or hard against the wall. So as you're burnishing the uh, decal to the wall, you will start to see the, the texture of the paint show through the decal. The decal is three mils thin, which is basically the thickness of a sheet of paper, so the texture will come through and that's what makes it look completely painted on. So you just want to burnish it really well, push it hard, and then there's little places like the ears that stick up and the toes at the bottom. You want to make sure you press those just a little bit extra to make sure they're firmly adhered so when we remove the masking they don't want to peel up off the wall. And next, after you have the decal all burnished. I like to remove the hinge first. Now we have the decal burnished and we need to remove the masking tape. So we're going to start in a corner. Again, just like the, the backing paper, keep it really close. I just pull it slightly at an angle, keeping my fingers on the wall and smoothing it off. And if you have a larger piece, you can wad up your paper and get a better grip. 
and just keep peeling at an angle until you reveal the entire decal. There you go, you just applied your first decal, congratulations.